Hey everyone, today I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to play Globetrotting. So this is a game about planning vacations. And in this game you will plan three trips. You will plan one in spring, one in summer, and one in fall. And to do that we will be using our globes to draw routes that show the, our paths around the world. So, to start the game we've drawn three cards here. And the leftmost card is going to be the origin point of your spring trip. So I've drawn the spring icon, which is this clover around Alhambra. Then our summer trip is going to begin in Santorini. So I've drawn that sun icon around Santorini. And our fall trip will begin in Santiago. So I've drawn that leaf icon over Santiago there. And the flow of the game is each round we will reveal three new destinations and we will each simultaneously pick one of those three destinations and add it to one of our three trips by drawing a line from the last point where we're at in that trip to the new destination. So for example, if I would like to visit Tikal, and I could visit it in any one of the three seasons, but let's say I choose fall, then I'm going to take uh, my globe here, line it up with Santiago, that was the last place I was in in fall, line up Tikal on the edge of the stand here, and I'm going to trace a line along the edge, draw a little arrowhead, and as you can see, I've now flown from Santiago to Tikal. The other cool thing about this stand, it doesn't just hold the globe, but it also measures the airfare it costs to travel from one place to another. The further you fly, the more it costs. So here we can see this trip cost me $3, and I'm going to log that in my passport booklet by writing the number three. So this is my little passport where I'm gonna log my score and the cost of all my trips. So the game is going to last nine rounds. You're gonna fill in all of these rectangles and then the game is over. So let's go over the different ways that this game scores. So first of all, uh, the after you log all your trips, you're going to add together your total airfare cost and you're going to score two points for each player that spent more than you at the end of the game. Then we have the global objective tiles. So these are very important as they are the highest scoring thing in the game, um, but it is a race to complete them. The first player to complete a global objective will get six points, and each player after that will get four points. You can see this global objective is to have lines in every column on the globe. The other one we are playing with this time shows that we need each of our trips to have an intersection. The next way to score is your bucket list cards. So there's a deck of these cards and you will deal three to each player at the beginning of the game. And these are personal goals that you will be trying to achieve in each of the seasons. So for example, in spring, I am trying to get these leisure icons. You'll see that each destination has a different activity that you're trying to score. And those are shown on the globe as well. Then, for example, in summer, I'm trying to visit North America once and Oceania twice. And in fall, I'm trying to visit three destinations in row one. Lastly, you can score by completing the objectives on this module tile. Now, there is a three and four player side and a one and a two player side. In the one and two player side, you score by visiting a destination in the same season as the token beneath it. So because I visited Tikal in fall, I would actually score one point here. And you can only do that, you can only do two festivals in each season. Now if I was playing with three or four players, I would be playing on the travel companion side. So instead of having this tile in front of me, we would actually set up the game with a tile between me and each of my neighbors. And my neighbors are my travel companions. We would share a tile. And what this tile does is if ever I visit the same destination with a neighbor in that shown season, I would get to score a point. And that's pretty much it. We would add up together all our points and we would see who has the most and that player would win the game. Thanks for watching.